On October 21, 1978, 20-year-old Frederick Valentich took off from Moorabbin Airport in his Cessna 182 light aircraft. He was flying to King Island. Valentich was a qualified pilot with over 200 hours of flying experience. He was also a member of the Australian Air Force cadets. Before the flight, Valentich checked the weather forecast and filed a flight plan with air traffic control. The weather was clear and calm, and there were no other aircraft in the area at the time. Valentich took off from Moorabbin Airport at 6.19 p.m. He was flying at an altitude of 4,500 feet and was expected to arrive at King Island in about two hours. At 7.06 p.m., Valentich contacted Melbourne Air Traffic Control to report that he was seeing a strange light following him. The light was large and metallic, and it was moving in a way that no aircraft could. Air Traffic Control told Valentich to continue flying and to keep them updated on the situation. Valentich agreed, and he continued flying towards King Island. At 7.12 p.m., Valentich contacted Air Traffic Control again to report that the light was getting closer. He also told them that he was scared. The last thing Valentich said to air traffic control was, It's hovering and it's not an aircraft. Then, Valentich's transmission cut off. Air traffic control tried to contact Valentich again, but they couldn't reach him. They also tried to contact other aircraft in the area, but no one had seen Valentich's Cessna. A search and rescue operation was launched immediately, but Valentich's aircraft was never found. An extensive search was conducted for Valentich's aircraft, but no trace of it was found. The only debris that was ever found was a small piece of metal that was washed up on a beach near Melbourne. The piece of metal was analyzed by experts, but they were unable to identify it. Some people believe that it could have been a piece of Valentich's aircraft, but there is no way to know for sure. The search for Valentich's aircraft was eventually called off. However, the mystery of his disappearance continues to fascinate people to this day. There are many theories about what happened to Valentich. Some people believe that he was abducted by aliens, while others believe that he crashed into the ocean or was shot down by the military. One theory is that Valentich was disoriented and mistook a natural object, such as a cloud or a planet, for an alien spacecraft. Another theory is that he was suffering from some kind of mental breakdown. It is also possible that Valentich's aircraft was simply lost in the fog or suffered a mechanical failure. However, there is no evidence to support any of these theories. It is important to note that the most likely explanation for Valentich's disappearance is that his aircraft crashed into the ocean. This is because there is no evidence to suggest that he was abducted by aliens or that he was shot down by the military. The disappearance of Frederick Valentich remains one of Australia's greatest mysteries. There is no doubt that something strange happened on the night of October 21, 1978. However, what happened to Valentich remains unknown. It is important to remember that Valentich was a skilled pilot with a clean record. He was also very familiar with the area where he disappeared. It is therefore unlikely that he made a careless mistake. The mystery of Valentich's disappearance continues to fascinate people to this day. Some people believe that he was abducted by aliens, while others believe that something more sinister happened. However, the truth is that we may never know what happened to Frederick Valentich.